versus Crom action, because this yeah. is as high a level as it gets. Yeah, two, two explosive players. They're going to roll into game one. The action's just about to start, and here we go. Pokemon Stadium 2, Shoyo James versus Raptor. Collision 2019 winner's bracket. And already, Shoyo got the opening hit, but you see that double jump armor floating through, and Raptor's able to counter hit. That might be interesting to see just kind of how that armor plays, plays an effect on Krom, who's known to hit really hard, but just like, you know, that one hit at a time, that's something that might just kind of get eaten by the armor that Yoshi has. Yoshi has, has a very strong tendency to live to high percentages, and Raptor especially can move stocks up to 180, sometimes up to the 200 percentages, which even in the midst of Ultimate, which has characters climbing those percentages quickly, is still ludicrous. He's a fairly heavy character, and the floater jump armor allows him to just poke through so much. So even though Krom's gonna be dealing plenty of damage with his hits, if he's not gonna be able to kill, Raptor's gonna be very dangerous. And Raptor doing a good job keeping the pressure on Shreyo James. It looked like Shreyo James had pulled out a little bit in the early going, but Raptor has been the story the last 60% or so, just keeping the pressure on. James finally able to hit that touch ground. And there's that jab back air. That's going to be huge for Krom. The bread and butter, the edge guard, you know that if you're off stage at kill, or off stage at kill percent and do a get up, that jab's coming out and you're probably losing your stock for it. I wonder if he meant to downbeat the other direction on that one. I'm not sure. Yo, sometimes Raptor just pulls the trigger. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I don't know. He might have wanted to do it. It could have been part of his game plan all along. Nonetheless, quick back air and nets out the stock and back into it again. Both of these characters can just swing on each other with reckless abandon. And both of these players are smart enough where they can make that, those stray hits work for them. Whether or not it's a little bit of damage or just a smidge of stage control, they can really make every hit stretch. Yeah, two Wily veterans going at it. Bra or not Brawl, uh, you know, Smash at its finest, uh, and they're coming through. And Raptor, every time it seems like Shoyo James gets the wheels turning, Raptor has some sort of answer for him. Kind of the Yoshi thing, just throwing out eggs, keeping the pressure on, and Shoyo James really kind of having a difficult time, it seems like, corralling the approach options that Raptor's choosing. Yeah, as far as it comes to the top level Yoshis, Raptor and Suarez have very different styles to play, and Raptor is very reminiscent of how he played his Yoshi in previous iterations yeah. of Smash. He does a lot to wait around, bait and approach, coach, track a lot of aerial options, whether it's Yoshi's excellent air mobility that allows him to do so, or occupying space with eggs. Yoshi just does a great job of being able to take up space, and Raptor takes advantage of that as best as he can. Yeah, he may not be as combo heavy, but when he gets in those little two-piece hits for just one good smash, it makes the difference. And a good shield poke on that uh, down down air on the platform. And Shoyo James in a little bit of trouble. Almost got a, got away with one right there. Uh, you know, sometimes that up, up special is able to confirm into an up air for a quick kill. But Shoyo James backing off, just trying to avoid the pressure. And Raptor doing a good job grabbing him, throwing it off stage. Picks him up with an egg preemptively. Stuffs where that up special is going to end up being. And Raptor's got another grab, gets him off stage again. Another opportunity to try to capitalize. Not really able to get much out of it. Oh, got a neutral air. I thought that was going to be enough to kill, but not quite. So James just hanging in there as best he can. But some eventually you rack him enough damage, every throw becomes a kill throw, right? <laughs> you know, I see Raptor on a weekly basis. I see him all the time. And even then, I still get impressed with how he's able to adapt to certain types of opponents. His timing on these eggs to punish the rising cut is superb. It's fairly difficult for characters that don't have safe disjoints to punish the apex of that up special. But he's doing it so well with a projectile while also returning to stage using that momentum from the egg just to get himself back to the base. And it's definitely keeping Shoyo James all, you know, all on, on his heels, not really able to exert the will that he normally does on his opponents. Is that every time he seems to try to get the wheels turned in, there's, there's Yoshi with some sort of answer, whether it's an egg, a neutral air, a combo break. And now the upper pressure, and Shoyo James is in big trouble. And Raptor is just continuing it. So much damage from that exchange, keeping the pressure on. Advantage lasts forever if you keep hitting your opponent. Yeah, and that up air hitbox is deceptively large. <laughs> Like, Yoshi arches himself away, but the hitbox is still all over the place. You gotta be careful with it. Hey. Looks like Shoyo James trying to up special out of shield that landing neutral air. Uh, big pickup, neutral air, and almost got that air dodge read. And Shoyo James is quite a bit of trouble here in the early going. Gets the back air. Raptor takes game one. All right. Now it's all a matter of seeing how well James can respond to this. I feel like... I don't, I don't want to say it was the stage's fault, mm -hmm. but, like... 
James, it didn't seem like he had anywhere to go. Yeah. At every situation, it seemed like there was just an egg or a raptor right there. That seems more like time. Yoshi things than uh, stage things, though. That's raptor just really being able to assess the situation and know the spacing on which he needs to put an egg out to put pressure, whether it's just the fear of up air or back air that puts on the pressure. Yeah, it seemed like that whole entire match. We're so used to seeing James really able to exert his will on his opponents, but that entire time, it seemed like the opposite. Raptor was really controlling the pacings, and it's a credit to James that it was even that close. It just kind of felt like Raptor had control for everything, and James just did everything he could with jab back airs to keep himself in it. Let's see if he's able to right the ship, make things happen on his uh, on his way, and see if he can make it a game three, or Raptor's going to end up taking it immediately right here, coming into game two. I love the pick into Battlefield. I feel like it's a great stage for Krom. It's a stage that James especially performs very well on. And in this particular matchup, it's one where James is going to have a lot more options for landing and trying to defend himself. Just generally speaking, holding center stage on Battlefield rewards so much, especially for a character with a disjoint like Krom. So if James is able to hold center stage, make sure the base platform is always his so he's ready to edge guard, it's going to be a very difficult battle for Raptor to try and fight his way back from the ledge. Now, they had a back air read on that uh, situation to pick up a kill, but unfortunately the platform got into the way and was not able to get it. Let's see if that situation uh, plays pivotal because it's giving Raptor a little bit of house money to play with at this point. Kind of fortunate to come out of that exchange without losing the stock. No back air follow up on the jab. Probably didn't know if he's going to get it. But gets the back air there out of the jump. And Shayo James roaring out to an early lead. Let's see if he's able to keep the momentum going and close out game two. Oh, interesting, uh, interesting option. Interesting. Yeah. I did not know that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't land on the platform in that situation. So yeah, that's actually fresh to ultimate, being able to decide on whether or not you want to go through the platform or land on it. Uh, one thing that we often see from Rapture and Suarez is they'll either land on the platform as a mix-up, try to bait a response, or just dive right through it. What? Talk about diving! How about Krom diving deep into the blast zone with that get spike with the forward air? Raptor tying things up before picking up a lot of damage. Yeah, and he earned that one across game one because we remember he was throwing out the egg to kind of stuff that approach. And Cho Jr. was probably thinking, ah, oh, worst case if I throw this out, I'm going to get an egg. Raptor picked the correct moment to throw out that forward air read. That's something that you just build up over time and just condition your opponent into it. That's long, you know, macro level conditioning in this game. But Cho oh, James is yeah. battling through and takes that second stop. It was actually fantastic for James, too, because we'd seen that Raptor had a good neutral get up out of a tech situation at all so far. All of a sudden, the one time he does it, he eats a fresh forward smash. And he had no time to respond to that whatsoever. James picking things back up, trying to hold on to the lead of this. Yeah, and that's definitely one thing that you don't want to let Krom get going is forward smashes. So powerful. And James looking in good position to take the second game and come out with a commanding rebuttal to the first game. But Raptor not out of it yet, trying to go back to putting on the pressure, seeing if he might be able to make a game of it coming here into game two. So James has him off stage and picks him off with a forward tilt. He has no jumps. There's the air dodge, barely makes it back. And there's that back air, that should clean it up. Very clean matchup, or clean match coming from Trejo James. A brief flash from Raptor coming out with that forward air. But that was definitely, you know, big game James show coming into game two. And we're right now, game three on the horizon. It's gonna be interesting to see. It seems like both players have kind of used their best reads on each other, and now it's gonna come down to who adapts faster, who can build that next read first uh, to come through and win game three. And game three is gonna be bringing us back to Pokemon Stadium 2. For those not familiar, we don't run DSR here. We don't need that. And bringing us back to Yoshi's best stage, it's so important, I feel, because like Yoshi can control the stage so well. We saw a ton of that in game one where James really had no room to breathe. He couldn't come back to the stage safely. He couldn't contest the base platform safely. And it was always a death sentence once he tried to recover high because Raptor was so consistent in how he was punishing the up special. And it definitely looks like, based off the bands that James threw out, you saw him ban FD and uh, Kalos. He definitely looks like he favors having a lot more platforms on the game. Pokemon Stadium 2 kind of providing that, you know, that very good mix. Almost got a forwarder on that in recovery as I'm talking. But yeah, that very good mix of platform play, but open spaces as well. It kind of may come down to which player is able to control the, like almost the weather gauge or the platform control of this match, whether James is able to play the platform game like he wants to, or Raptor's able to play the open game like he wants to. And James, oh my god, so much shield damage. Eventually shield pokes. 
It almost looks like it's guaranteed the shield poke no matter what. Yeah, it's a, it's a great matchup. move, and Raptor has always been so good with being able to position himself for using that talent. Yeah. Whether it's shield poking or every once in a blue moon, it's the shield break out of it, too. Wow, that was good patience on Raptor's part. You saw him. The egg didn't hit the recovery. He's like, but no worry, I got time. James is on stage. I'm just going to float up there. And oh, by the way, here's ground pound for you. Picks up that first stock. Raptor looking like he might be making an upset here on Shoyo James in the early going. And this is going to be a very important upset, too. Like, like I was saying earlier, coming into this set, a lot of people are starting to discredit Raptor just because he's not getting as, as solid as placings as his reputation proceeds. Mm -hmm. Suarez has sort of become the known spot as best Yoshi. And Raptor still has so much skill behind him. He's still doing well. So getting a breakout performance for this tournament and especially an astounding win here be huge for him. But at the same time, James has a lot to prove. He's the king of New Jersey, and who's going to be taking that away from him if it's going to be this dinosaur? He's got to be able to prove that he's left his mark on this state. Yeah, legacy's on the line, regional pride on the line, and a trip in winner's bracket or loser's bracket on the line as well. Both players, you know, they both want it for all the reasons that we just said. And James doing his best to battle back. Very good string and advantage so far. And he's continuing the pressure, able to tie it back up. And he's got, he doesn't go for the kill option right there. Yoshi being a little bit heavier than he like. Oh my god, big downer damage though. And there's that egg pressure a little bit early on the up smash. It looked like Raptor had the correct read. Because sometimes it's like that uh, that Paul Walker moment from Fast and the Furious too soon. <laughs> Showing you how dated my references are. I'm, a, I'm an old man. I'm sorry, everybody. Hey, hey listen, man. <laughs> all references are appreciated in this house. But right now, all we got to worry about is a good match ahead of us. Because we've seen some clean hits so far. Both of these guys have just been swinging in their second stocks. You really haven't seen, like, two part of stage control. Like, many strong combos. It's been a lot of two pieces. A lot of respect on both players' ends. He gets that footstool. He gets the forward tilt, and Shadow James poised to take, you know, take this game. He's got the lead, but that could disappear in a blink of an eye. One back air, one strong hit in neutral air, and that's going to be it for Shadow James' stock. Gets the egg, and the pressure's on. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's got to go for the up smashes. Shadow James is such a high percentage. Could just try to keep it simple and just throw out an aerial. As I said, there's that back air. There you go. So now pressure's on. Very low percentage, just almost nothing on that. Uh, coming on to clean final stocks for the set. All well, matter about seeing who can do what now. Down there once again on the platform. And I feel like at this point, I think the ledge is actually very dangerous for Raptor. Because one straight hit, all of a sudden we can see uh, Shoyo James potentially lead things into an upbeat. He can go for the tees, he can net that kill if he needs to. And even at that, James is showing how superb he is at being able to secure the ledge, rack up so much damage. But right now, this is Raptor's time to shine. Yeah, throwing out a downer, putting on big damage, and Shao James is in red bar. The, the, the alarm's going off, it's red alert. He's in high percent, but he's done a good job in keeping himself within striking distance. Probably needs another jab or two. Yeah, here we go. And he gets that big hit. All right, now he's a probably, oh man, he went for the win right there, that egg save wrapper. But yeah, one jab to back air on Shao James' side, or maybe a big back air up here coming out from, from Raptor. What if he comes in with a ground pad? Oh my God, he went for it right His there. shield is so low, he's gotta be careful now. Coming out from deep, and back air, once again, gonna be setting him. He doesn't have a lot of lift from eggs left. Force the air dodge to the stage, and it's gonna be the roll from the stage. Going right back to center, force the approach from James at these high percentages. Both of these characters can make this count, but just like that, Raptor's taking the win on James. And he picks up that back air, takes game three, and the crowd's popping off just a little bit. Upset City, here we are. Here we go. CD in shambles. <laughs> Shambolinos. <laughs> the Wiley veteran, you know, that's what they say. It's uh, If you want to talk about a recipe for what the favorite doesn't want, it's definitely, they don't want that Wiley veteran that plays a jank character that they're not used to. That's always the recipe for upset. And that's what uh, Raptor pretty much is in a nutshell. So let me ask you a question, Lux. What did you think of Long Island Yoshi? Uh, 